Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another Avatar The Last Airbender reaction. Um, we are doing Season 3, Episode 3 and 4, Chapter 3 and 4. Um, yeah, so we just started the Book 3 yesterday. Uh, really, good, really good intro to the, the Fire Nation and all that stuff. Um, we saw Aang got, went to school, which is nice to see him being a kid again. Um, we've gotten a few flashes of him as a kid, and he's always like... Yeah, he was having a blast back then. Um, yeah, so it's nice to see him play and make some friends. We saw, yeah, Aang and Katara had a little moment again, and that was actually probably the first time I'd seen them, like... I don't know, I didn't really think they had chemistry, like, romantically at all throughout the show, but that was... I kind of kind of saw it there, I guess. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just because he has hair now. He looks a bit more like a... Looks more grown up, maybe, with hair? I don't know. Yeah, and then we got Zuko. Zuko is still battling his like demons. I guess he he doesn't really know what to what to do with his uncle. He's like, yeah, he's just like raging at his uncle. He know he knows that he's in the wrong, but he's still like he just wants to be in the Fire Nation, and he still wants his dad's approval. And yeah, and then we we found out about Azula is just man. She's like she's on another level of like crazy and like manipulative. Manipulative. Oh my god, I can't talk. Man, the amount of times I have to edit edit these videos and cut out stuff because they can't because I don't know how to pronounce something properly. Man, uh, luckily you don't. Luckily, I, yeah, luckily I can edit, so you guys don't have to see me stutter the whole way through. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I wonder what Azula is like. Hmm. I almost feel like her like she's gonna be the big bad at the end. I think I said that last video, but yeah, I, I feel like she might be the. Like, is she going to, like, kill her dad or something and take over? Like, I feel like she's that type of evil. Like, she just, like, even even with her friends, she's, like, we saw when she first, when we first met Ty Lee, she was, like, super manipulative, manip oh my god, there we go again, manipulative to Ty Lee um, to make her, to like, do what she wants. So she's just, like, really not a good person at all. And then, of course, she's super powerful at the same time. So that's a lovely combo. Um, yeah, and then also, uh, uh, Gotrick in the comments, thanks again for the comments, man. Um, yeah, he mentioned that it's Mark Hamill that's, uh, voicing, uh, Ozai, so that's really cool, because, yeah, I, I, I've always known Mark Hamill does, like, he pretty much became, like, known for his voice work after, after Star Wars, I think, and, like, he did, uh, The Joker, I believe, his, his most famous one, but yeah, he, so he's doing Fire Lord Ozai, which is, that's cool. I'll see if I can, like, recognize his voice, or if he's, like, really changing it up for that, um, yeah, that's awesome, though. Uh, is, are there any other, like, famous, like, actors or, like, voice actors that are in the show that I, that I would know that are, like, kind of mainstream, like, celebrities? Because that'd be interesting. Um, maybe I'll we'll look that up at some point. Um, but yeah, and then we're also going to try out, I'm going to try to write down, uh, I'm going to write down some stuff I notice as we're going through the episode. So I, so I, my discussions at the end are a bit more, um, thought out, I guess, is that the word thought out or structured maybe? Because I know I kind of, I kind of just ramble and don't really, uh, don't really know what I'm saying by the end of it. And then I'll go and like write up the descriptions for the, for the YouTube upload, like hours later and realizes some stuff I forgot that I should have mentioned. So we'll see how that goes. Cause yeah, this, this is my, uh, this is my first show that I've reacted to before. I'm pretty new to being on camera and like discussing stuff like, yeah. So usually I just read stuff and then discuss it in my own brain, not with other people. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. I want to see where this goes. Chapter three, the painted lady. Hmm. What's that going to be about? No, you don't think. <laughs> Gross. That explains why I can't catch a fish around here. Because normally my fishing skills are off the hook. Oh my god. Get it? Like a fishing hook? And your skills aren't on the hook. Gross, <laughs> Now you look just like a little hill with horns. Hey, buddy. <laughs> my name's Doc. Mind if I ask who you are? Who did a few years ago and started gunking up our river? Gross. And now our little village is struggling to survive. We have to do something to help. No, we can't waste our time here. These people are starving, but you turn your back on them? Can't go around helping every rinky-dink town we wander in. Now. Jeez. 
Maybe we should be a little quieter when we talk about taking out the Fire Lord. I'm not Doc. I'm Shu. Hmm? Doc's my brother. Yeah. That's why they call him Doc. God. And I work in the shop. That's why they call me Sh What is going on with that guy? Oh, is she going to go heal? Well, she can't. She'll, yeah, she, she'll reveal herself if she does. Finagling to get us back on track. <laughs> Finagle away, oh, schedule master. Was that a... Wait, let, me, let me see the schedule. Is this like a... That looked like a computer page. Yeah, what is... How did you make that? Is that a little Easter egg? There's no way that's, like, it looks like a... Huh. I guess the Katara might sneak off and go and... What's the matter, Katara? Like, heal Opposite. that lady. Opposite? That's all! Because of feet. course I care. <laughs> and I'm concerned because my big furry friend doesn't feel well. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Oh, his tongue. His tongue is purple. <laughs> oh no, oh no, Appa. He looked like he was dead there. Is it just? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? What the heck? This town is weird. Food was delivered to our village by a mysterious and wonderful person. The painted lady. Is it Katara? She's part of our town's lore. Oh. They say... Ooh. The Painted Lady. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wait, wait is it Katara? Yeah, that, that was Katara, wasn't it? Sure. But how does that a thing, though? Check. How is that statue a thing? Maybe not. Maybe it is. It, maybe it's a waterbender? Can you believe how much an entire village can be affected by one lady? returns every night otherwise this place would go right back to the way it was what if she really wanted to help she would use her spirit magic to blow up that factory is, is it katara i'm so confused i guess well, it can't be if she's if there's a statue already before she unless katara is like imitating it oh okay now it is her interesting mama sees it's her <laughs> okay so it was katara she just made her makeup look like the painted lady. I'm the great bridge between your world and mine. I know Haybai. We're close personal friends. <laughs> was Haybai the, uh, the 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 face stealer? Is that who Haybai is? I know Haybai's the the bear. Okay. See a beer binder. <laughs> Hello, Abby. <laughs> You're really pretty for a spirit. I don't get to meet too many spirits. But... No, <laughs> you really seem familiar. <laughs> Katara? <laughs> but you've been sick? He might be sick of the purple berries I've been feeding him, but oh my God. Other... I think it's great. You're like a secret hero. <laughs> yeah, was she like poisoning? No, she wasn't po she was just feeding Appa too many berries that he felt sick. You wanna destroy this factory? Yes. Sokka was just kidding, but he was right. Wonder if there'll be extra consequences though for destroying us. Maybe they'll blame the townspeople for it. They'll think someone from the town blew it up and like come and kill them or something. We don't want to wake Sokka. <coughs> Sokka? We were just out on a morning walk. I know you're the painted lady. I've been lying about Appa and feeding him purple eyes and tongue berries. <laughs> what you did put our whole mission in jeopardy. We're leaving right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Yeah, he's gonna blame them. What did you do? I kind of destroyed their factory. You? The army's gonna blame the villagers. They're headed there yeah. right now to get revenge. No, I will never ever turn my back on people who need me. Me mm too. -hmm. I thought you didn't want to help. Mm -hmm. You need me, and I will never turn my back on you. He does have a heart, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Our medicine, and then you destroy our factory. We're going to cure the world of this wretched village. Uh. <laughs> Light it again! <laughs> Something strange is going on. Uh oh. The lighting is <laughs> coming. <laughs> With the Appa, Appa grows. <laughs> They're doing a. <laughs> it's a whole show. What is that sound? Maybe it is her. Ah! That's so creepy. <laughs> hang, hang down there. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's take her. 
slow mo. Damn. <laughs> that guy's gonna be poisoned now by the water. Nice. Leave this village and never come back. Nice. I knew you'd come. I'm not the painted lady. You're that colonial girl. Uh oh. That's not You've good. You've been tricking us! Water uh oh. How dare you act like our painted lady! What the heck? Okay. Because of her, that factory won't be polluting your river, and the army is gone! I shouldn't have acted like someone I wasn't, and I shouldn't have tricked you. She's right. But what should we do? Maybe we can clean the river! <laughs> Toph! Yeah. How did Toph get over there? You're not so bad for a waterbender, <laughs> ma'am. I'm going to get my other brother, Bushi. <laughs> oh All right, God. I'm Bushi. Let's get this some guy's got a done. personality to dis uh -huh. personality I disorder, I guess. I knew you were the same guy. <laughs> the shop owner and the boat guy. Talking about my brothers, Doc. <laughs> oh my God. No, I just saw you. You switched hats and called yourself a different name. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. He reminds me of Boomy. It's going to take a long time to clean that. Holy. Oh, oh, or not. Oh. Oh, there actually is. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. There actually was a painted lady. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so that was a good episode. Yeah, I guess the painted lady at the end there, she, she wasn't able to, like, when the river was polluted, she was, like, not able to, to visit or something. Something to do with that. She's like, yeah, wasn't wasn't able to. But yeah, so I'd... I tried to write notes. I wrote two things down. They weren't really related to the episode. Or the first one was. Um, but yeah, like the, the first note I wrote down was the Avatar is kind of like... His job isn't just like bringing balance. It's like protecting like the environment and stuff. I think I think I read that was part of it. Or I think they said that when they were first discussing him. He's like... He needs to make sure like everything, the environment, the people, everything's good. So he's kind of... Yeah, he, he'd obviously want to help there. Which is, which is good. So yeah... The pollution of the Fire Nation is like a big issue that he has to fix. And then this has popped in my head that I've completely forgot about. But yeah, where like where is Suki? Where is Suki and the Kyushu Warriors? Because they were I think the last we saw of them was when they fought the uh the hit the fire hit girl squad as, as I've been calling them. Um yeah, they got their clothes were taken away from from the, those three when they went under cover, but they didn't actually say where where they went, did they? Where, Su where Suki when them went? Or what happened to them? I th yeah, they've got to be alive, right? They wouldn't have they wouldn't have killed them off without showing. I think, right? The two she's too important of a character. Yeah, so hopefully she pops up soon. Unless were they on the boat when when Aang was waking up? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, no good episode. Um, got to see more of uh, Katara just being being awesome, being super helpful, even though it is kind of. It's like one of those situations where it's like, yeah, you want to help everyone you can, but if you get caught and then the Fire Nation like kills you guys, then like the world's screwed pretty much. So it's like a situation like that where you got a way like leaving people in bad situations versus like the greater good of everyone is kind of like the, the conundrum. It's a big word for me. Wow. The conundrum of, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's just get in the next one. Chapter 4, Sokka's Master. Sokka's Master. Hmm. Ooh, that's a cool wow. shot. So you realize how insignificant <laughs> Yep. Yeah. You've seen nothing once. You've seen it a thousand times. <laughs> oh. Man, you've never not seen anything like this. Oh, what's that? A blue comet? Oh. Okay. What's going to happen here? Okay, buddy. 
You never know what's gonna happen there. No thing about being in disguise is we don't get the hero worship anymore. I miss the love. Woohoo! Four heroes. Sucker. You guys can do this awesome bending stuff. Like I can't do anything. That's not true. You can read a map like you. I can't read at all. Yeah. Keeps us laughing with sarcastic comments all the time. Get Katara's hair, right? What's up with that? What's wrong with my hair? What was that? Nothing. I was just trying to. Look, Aang is just always that fumbling is, the bag of that with the tarot. Is so amazing and so special, and I'm not. I'm sorry you're feeling so down, but I hope you know none of us see you that way. Think. But. Pretty slick, huh? How did he get that on? <laughs> what is What's that? A wind sword? <laughs> Where did he even nice. find? Ooh, that's a fancy sword. An original from P and Thou, the greatest sword master and sword maker in Fire Ooh. Nation history. Oh, along, Sokka. A sword? Not the sword. A master. You should see if you can study with P and Thou. Okay. Interesting. Idea. I could. Would be nice to be a master sword fighter. That'd be good if Sokka had level up his uh, his fighting skills. Oh. oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I rose. Yeah, let's go, buddy. He's gotta get in game shape. Can I help you? <laughs> No, the master turns almost everyone away. Master, my name is Sokka, and I wish to... Oh, he's using his first name. And you think you deserve to learn from the master. <laughs> and I know one thing for sure. I have a lot to learn. You told me that when I met you, I would have to prove my worth. But the truth is, I don't know if I am worthy. That's gonna... Okay, that's gonna win him over. Nice. Let's find out together how worthy... Sorry, I'm spoiling myself by reading the subtitles. <laughs> will train you nice it's the people that don't uh that's a good uh it's a good uh you have to know what you don't knowing that you don't know or something with the quote yeah knowing the things you don't know or something like that is like really important i don't know i don't remember the exact quote but yeah it's a well that's always stuck with me you must think of it as another part of your mm -hmm. own body more like an extra long <laughs> sharp arm <laughs> i have picked my toes Twice. Gross. Second times just for the sweet Gross. I hate feet. I'm not a feet person at all. So hot. Momo is is shedding like Abba. Oh, it's for the jokes. They're missing the jokes without Sokka. Let's go, Aaron. Look at this guy. Oh. Must learn to use your sword to stamp your identity on a battlefield. <laughs> He's like, why did I pick this guy? <laughs> in battle, <laughs> you only have an instant to take everything in. Oh wow! Now paint it. That's an interesting lesson. Knowing your surroundings and all that, like remembering stuff I'm mid battle. Or... You added a rainbow. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just like, what? Is, who is this child that I'm teaching? Teaches the warrior to manipulate his surroundings and use them to his advantage. Let's go, hero. Look at him go. Just gotta pretend. You gotta pretend. <laughs> crazy old Acting man. like a crazy guy. Starting from here. No, we're over on this island. And they're, they're realizing oh, that he has like a I really important job. If you miss him so much. Why don't you marry him? <laughs> you mess things up in a very special way. <laughs> you are ready for a real sword. Tomorrow, you will make your own sword. Ooh, cool. Trust your steel with your life. Choose carefully. Master, would it be possible for me to leave and bring back a special material for my sword? Nice. Hey, so what is this going to be? His, his his own? His original Sokka's one? <laughs> hey guys, what Real are you doing? Sokka! You're back! We missed you <laughs> Say something funny. <laughs> funny how? <laughs> oh no, they missed you or something. I didn't care. <laughs> Thanks. Does she have like a crush on on him? Yeah. Does Does Toph have a crush on Sokka? I feel like I've picked up on that a couple times. I don't know if I actually mentioned it though. But look at this guy. Oh man, what a beast. That of a meteorite. Ooh. We'll make a sword unlike any other in the world. Sick. Meteorite sword. But 
I saw something in you right away. He trained. It wasn't your skills that impressed me. Activity. Ooh, that's a sick. Intelligence. Black blade. me, you didn't know if you were worthy. But I believe that you are more worthy than any man I have ever trained. Nice. I am not worthy. Hmm. I'm not who you think I am. I'm from the Southern Water. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Yeah, what? What was. The, why would you do no. this? This is. Yeah, that was really dumb, Sokka. Okay. Yeah, is there juice in that? Or water? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so he's been doing this for a while then. Oh my god. He's completely yoked up. I was gonna beat some ass when he gets out. Holy. Okay, here we go. This was really dumb by Sokka, but okay. The black blade looks so cool. It's just reminding me of, like the dark saber in uh, the Clone Wars and Mando. Ooh. Good use of terrain, fighting from the high ground. <laughs> Interesting strategy. Okay. Yes, I was using the smarts. Yes. Use your surroundings. Jeez. Pocket sand. <laughs> he can't see. Uh, that's not good. Ooh, what a, can you jump out of the way? Excellent work, Sokka. I think I'm a little old to be fighting the Avatar. How did he know? I'm getting that Sokka was water tribe. Okay. You might want to think of a better Fire Nation <laughs> Okay, so he knew. The way of the sword doesn't belong to any one nation, okay. Sokka. You must continue your training on your own. Even greater master than I am. Nice. <laughs> Have this. Has something to remember him by. What's that? The pie show tile. The white lotus. Ooh. What does it mean? Okay, white lotus I throwback. No Space Check rock. You ruined everything. <laughs> I can't believe I missed a move. Okay, yeah, that was the ending. Yeah, that was a good episode. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, I didn't take notes, but I, I, I mentally kept notes this time <laughs> instead of just blindly watching. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was cool seeing. Sokka was really doubting himself, but we kind of, yeah, he's like, he's like the glue of the group. Like, he's funny. He, he's like, he's like the dad, I guess. He's like the one that's serious and, well, not serious, but he, like, he makes jokes, but he's like, he plans stuff. He, he steps up and he, yeah. So yeah, that was nice. And yeah, it was nice to see the, he got trained. He, he's going to be a, a, like a better fighter, I guess, going forward, which is awesome to see. He's learning to use his surroundings and you, you, you play to his strengths. Um, but yes, the, so we got a white lotus there. Like I actually in the uh, in the previously on of this episode, they showed the white lotus uh, stuff. So I kind of knew there might be a tie in the white lotus, but I didn't pick it up till the end there. So yeah, so I guess I, th I think when we first got shown the white lotus, it was kind of like I think it was implied that like it's like a secret society that. Like all the nations have people in it, kind of. So there's like allies across nations, basically, which is really awesome. So I guess they have a they have like a it's like a get out of jail free card almost. Like if they get in trouble, they'll they'll be able to. Chances are there'll be like one white lotus member somewhere that'll be able to help out. So that's that's really useful. Yeah, and then Iro Iro's just completely jacked out of his mind. Been been training. The whole time he's been in prison, it seems like, based on his physique, he's just been awesome. So he'll be ready the second he gets a chance. He's he's gonna take it. So that's uh, that's good to see. Hope, hoping he gets out soon because I miss him, miss his his wisdom and stuff. <laughs> yeah, if I miss anything, make sure to comment it. Uh, and yes, yeah, if you're if you've been watching these and you aren't subbed, uh, please sub to the channel. Yeah, it's been it's been a wild ride, but yeah, I, I definitely um, tomorrow I might not do. I might not have a video out tomorrow for Avatar because I'm going to have a busy day tomorrow. So we'll see if I can get a video out. But if I do, it'll be the uh, it'll be the live action tomorrow. And then we'll go back to the uh, the cartoon the day after that. Um, yeah, so I'll end it there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.